Magnus is champing. <clears throat> Nikki Roycroft has been doing her work. Helping him warm up. Uh, this double here, this is going to be where we see if he's really going to try. I've never seen this horse jump so well. I'm not going to speak too soon. There's a long way to go. Seven more fences. Remember, Matt has three fences in hand for gold. With six to jump. This is sensational. This is a completely different horse to what we saw at Badminton and what I saw at Senor two years ago. Matt has been so confident. He's getting lower. All these fences are the same color. They don't really startle a horse into jumping. Good. Excellent. Now the water, this is a problem, because he's got to gallop him, flatten him out of the water, and then will he ever get him back into this lovely round shape to make clear the last few fences? That's good. This is truly work of a champion. Truly the work of a champion. None of us can relax yet. He's got three fences to come in a row. All three can go, and all three can stay. This is for goal. Come on, Matt. Come on, Kiba. Three. Unless, short of a fall, he's got it. Yes. Gold in Australia. <laughs> Matt Ryan from New South Wales, the first gold medalist in equestrian for Australia since 1960, when Bill Roycroft did it in Rome. What a fantastic effort. He predicted this. He predicted it on day one. Well, the Australians flock in to, com to compliment, keep it tick-tock. Well done, boy. And Vicky Roycroft, I think, would bear a great deal of responsibility for getting those two into that fantastic rhythm that enabled them to jump the best round of either of their lives. I mean, that horse looked every inch a show jumper, and he has never looked like that before at the end of a three-day event. What a this fantastic effort. Wonderful stuff from a totally unexpected quarter. Australia's second gold in Barcelona, and what a deserving man. He is the most... Well, what a fantastic moment for Matt Ryan. A build-up, I mean, having to wait last, and to have the expectations all day that you had to go around and do that, and to do it with the best riders in the world in front of you, uh, just a great performance by Matt Ryan. Congratulations, Australia's second gold medal at these games after Cathy Watt on day one of competition won the women's road race. And I wonder how the team went as well. Uh, great performance. And, of course, it was Laurie Morgan who won the gold medal in the individual in Rome in 1960. Swede, keep a tick-tock to jump as clear a round as ever was needed to gain double gold for Australia. A parade of champions. And Matt Ryan will lead. Keep a tick-tock. Now through the boom gate and back on to... Of course, no, they've lowered the boom on him again. He could jump that quite easily if he wanted to. Still has his ears pricked. What a horse. Came from 18th position after the dressage. Was in first place after the cross-country phase, which he rode so courageously, so carefully. This uh, is Greg Watson, that wonderful team reserves. Regrettably, he came and his horse went lame. He should be here in this medal ceremony because he, I feel, would have put up a wonderful performance as well. And the fact that Australia could win two golds without Greg Watson, who has performed so brilliantly in the World Games and two Babingtons on Takanga Fred, is truly a tribute to their competence. And I have to say, given the euphoria of this moment, that it's a great shame that we won't be represented later in the Grand Prix show jumping 